Hey, this is Matt, and in this, the first Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to set up a database connection in PHP Storm. Now, to do that, naturally, you're going to need both PHP Storm, which you can see here, ideally a pretty recent version, if not the latest, and a database that you can connect to. Now, in this video, I'm going to connect to a MySQL database, but use whatever database you prefer so long as it's supported by PHP Storm. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to open the database tool, which you do by clicking on the database button here in the upper right hand corner of the PHP Storm window. And then you click on the plus or new button over here, which gives you a list of options. Mouse over the first one here, that being data source and you'll see a list of the data sources that you can choose from. And you can see here, Sybase, SQLite, PostgreSQL, and so forth. As I'm going to connect to a MySQL database, I'll click, logically, hey, MySQL. And that opens the data sources and drivers window. Now, just having a quick scan here, you can see that there are a number of options on this, the general tab, and there are also a number of other tabs. Now I'm not going to click into them because we don't need to look at them as this is just covering the essential things that we need to do to set up a database connection. But what we are going to look at are just three fields, which are the username, password, and database name. I don't need to touch the host name because localhost is correct, nor the port because my database is connecting on the default port, which is 3306. So if I add in here, my trusty username of user, my password of password, I know, captain security and all that. But the point is this is a demo, not a real app. So I think that's okay in this instance. Tell me what you think in the comments. Then I give my trusty database name of project DB, not the most original thing, but it'll do for now. And you can see here that the URL field the project name over here and the project name over here, nicely updated, so we don't have to do that. And those are the key settings that we need to get a database connection up and running. Now, as I said, or alluded to in future Tip Tuesdays, I'm gonna dive into the remainder of the options, so we'll look at more complex and sophisticated setups. But for this video, not so much. Now, as I said, we're done here, but you always wanna check and test as with code, so as with configurations, before you click OK, close the dialog, only to find out it doesn't work and you've got to open it and check it. So we come down here to test connection, click that, and in a few short seconds, the green a little hard to see, I apologize for that, but it says succeeded and you can see here some details of how the test was made and the, and the Java driver that is used under the hood to make the connection to the database. In short, everything worked spot on. And that's also complemented by a nice little tick down here. Now with that, we know it works. So come over here, click OK. And then our database is then listed in the databases list. A few seconds later, you'll get a list of, we'll see the schema details of that particular database. So if I expand that out, you can see here the list of tables, and I have three, those being actors, character to actor, and characters. And if I then expand that out, you can see the columns, keys, and indexes. And here, if I expand that out again, you can see here the three columns and their types and some properties about each one. Expand that out, you see the keys, so it has a primary key and a compound key. And then we have a compound index as well. So that is the essentials of how to create a database connection in PHP Storm. In future Tip Tuesdays, as I said, I'll be covering the remainder of the database tools functionality. So make sure you check back in regularly if that's what you want to know about. Otherwise, if you like the video, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next Tip Tuesday.